Hi, my name is Vicki, and I'm here for the last class in my Beginner's Culinary Boot Camp. And today is class five, I'm proud to say, and we're graduating. And to celebrate, we are making baking, um, pies, and all sorts of delicious things as a sweet ending to our five-week class. My lack of cooking skills are absolutely legendary. I you know, have been really intimidated in the kitchen. I don't really have like a cooking background. Um, I'm really busy. I'm, you know, I come home, I'm tired. I wanted to learn some easy, good things to make and just really build up my confidence in the kitchen. The class is like, it's a whole series. So like the first class was concentrating on knife skills. I had really crappy knives and I didn't even know it. So, uh, so I don't need to add any flour things to stick No, pieces. stickiness is part of it. You want soft pillows. You got to deal with the stickiness. Just manage it. So I'm going to roll it in the flour, and now it's manageable. You can hold it and touch it now, and it won't drive you crazy. So pat it out and divide it up. Hi, I'm Chef John Scoff. Uh, tonight we did class five of the Beginner's Culinary Boot Camp, which was baking. I've taught here for about four years. I teach uh, lots of classes here. I teach uh, little one-shot deals like a meatless Mexican class. Uh, I do a class in the summertime on um, burgers where we do regular burgers and turkey burgers and tuna burgers, chicken burgers, things like that. But mostly I do the technique classes here where I teach people how to use their knives properly and how to use their pots and pans and equipment so they can apply them to other types of cuisine and recipes when they go home. We did a snack for the students and today these are just homemade potato chips. They're just sliced very, very thin in a mandolin. Fried to perfection, put salt and pepper on them, and they're delicious. Like so. All right. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Okay. And then your little knife here. Okay. And cut your gnocchis. Oh and my God! Make this little, is amazing. Little pillows <gasps> like that. All right. I've learned knife skills. I've learned how to properly cut things. I've learned what you know good knives are. I went out and bought good knives for myself. I've learned that you know there are different types of equipment in the kitchen, what they do, um, whether it be a food processor, basic things like a cast iron skillet versus a non-stick skillet. I know that something called a fish spatula is out there for me to use with fish. I've learned that there are terms, I don't say that I have them all down, but I've learned about brining, braising, sauteing, roasting. We roasted a whole chicken. That was cool. And Tonight, we are supposedly going to bake. So that's a good party skill. These are fresh ricotta gnocchis we just made and a brown butter sage sauce. And they've been boiled, and now they are getting browned a little bit. And then we're going to eat them. I like these beginners because, most of all, because it's not passed down anymore. It's not passed on from generation to generation like it was years ago. Our moms do not teach how to cook anymore. And so no one knows how to cook. So I like to do that because it's very gratifying for me. And I like, I like seeing it in their faces when they realize they've learned something and they can do these things at home. It's not as impossible as they think it is. As someone who's never cooked, um, it gives me like, such joy. I've uh, invited people over just to like, be like, look, this, I'm Julianning right now, you see? Like, this is me, I'm, I'm cutting, like, it's very exciting. It's been a really, enriching and delicious experience. I would say like really the number one thing is the confidence like that it's possible that if like if I can cook like anybody can. I'm not using my oven as storage space anymore so that's also really exciting. I I can't believe I made it. I bet you if I uh, if you asked any of the people in here they I wouldn't believe, believe it either. <laughs>